Hello friends, warm welcome to this video. How to write a simple macro in Microsoft Excel. If you want to repeat some tasks in your Excel spreadsheet, then macro can be handy for you. You can use macro for multi-time similar tasks and this will save your time. Let's see this in practice by performing some steps. Open your spreadsheet. Click on the File tab at the top left. Click on the Options from the drop-down list. Click on the Customize ribbon from the left panel. Select the checkbox of Developer from the right side. Click on the OK button to close the Options window. This will enable the Developer tab in the ribbon. Click on the Developer tab and then click on the Record Macro button in the ribbon. Give a name to your macro by using the underscore sign. You can assign a shortcut to your macro. To do so, click in the box and press Shift plus any key on your keyboard to assign a shortcut key. Like here, I have done Shift plus H keys. Select the location to store your macro as I have selected this workbook. For your future reference, write a short description of your macro and click on the OK button. See, it is showing me that I have used an invalid character in the name. To fix it, I will change this hyphen mark into an underscore and then click on the OK button. This will start the recording macro of my actions. Click on the Home tab. For demo purposes, I am going to do some conditional formatting in this data table. I have selected the values of the Order Delivered column. Click on the Conditional Formatting button, and from the drop-down list, click on the Highlight Cells rules and then click on the Greater Than option. I want to highlight the cells that are greater than 25, so I put this value here and clicked on the OK button. Click on the Developer tab and then click on Stop Recording. Now, suppose I want to reuse this conditional formatting in another data table. I have copied the same date and pasted it into the new worksheet. I will clear the conditional rules from this table. Click on the Developer tab and then click on the Macros button. Select your macro from the list and then click on the Run button. See, I used my macro to complete my repetitive task in a very short time. Please do not forget to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more upcoming tech support videos. Thank you for watching this video.